How's it going everyone? Welcome to the Super Adventures. Today we're going to be talking about meerkats. Meerkats live in Botswana in the Kalahari Desert and they live in underground burrows that can be quite extensive with a lot of different entrances. And despite their name, meerkats are actually not cats but they are part of the mongoose family. A group of meerkats is called a mob or a gang and a gang may consist of up to 30 individual meerkats. While they may be really freaking cute, meerkats live up to their reputation of living in gangs. So the alpha female meerkat will actually kill the offspring of other females in the group to ensure their own offspring receive the most care and attention. It's not personal, Sonny. It's strictly business. But the subordinate females will also kill other pups, and the blood of each other's offspring can be found on their claws. But despite how aggressive the meerkats can be among their own gang members, at the end of the day, they're still family. So after a female has given birth to new pups, she has to go out and forage for food or else she'll die. So while she's out foraging, a babysitter will stay behind feeding and protecting her offspring. So not only do these babysitters miss out on foraging and they can actually lose up to 2% of their own body weight in a single day, they will also sacrifice their lives to protect the pups. During the day, meerkats forage mostly for insects but also other small animals such as lizards and snakes and millipedes. And if you guys have watched my millipede video, you'll remember that as a defense mechanism, Millipedes will crawl into a ball and secrete foul-smelling chemicals and in some species even hydrogen cyanide. But the meerkats will rub the millipedes on the ground to get rid of those toxic compounds before eating them. Meerkats are also immune to the otherwise deadly venom of scorpions. Nonetheless, when baby meerkats are first born and they can't forage on their own, the adults will bring them dead prey. As they get a little bit older, the adults will actually remove the tail from the scorpion and bring it to the pup so they can practice their hunting skills. And then eventually the meerkats become old enough and they begin to forage on their own. While the meerkats are foraging for food, they'll set up a sentry. And the role of the sentry is to watch out for predators and alert the family of any potential dangers. And there's a changing of the guard, so a new meerkat will take the previous sentry's place about every hour, and that way everybody gets a chance to forage. Meerkats are known to communicate through barking or chirping or making some kind of a call, and these calls can communicate a lot of information. So the sentries will actually make a different call depending on whether the predator they see is coming in from the sky so an aerial predator like a bird, or whether it's coming on the ground like a jackal. And they can also communicate how imminent the threat is. So there would be a different call for an eagle that's way off in the distance versus a jackal that's really close by. Meerkats also make different calls as they get older. So young pups will make this high squeaky peep, and this sound is sort of like begging. So when they make these peeps, the other meerkats will bring them food, but as they get older, their call changes and they no longer get free food. But if you take a speaker and you play the same frequency call that a baby would make, the adults will actually start feeding the older meerkats as if they were babies again. And lastly, families of meerkats are known to get into clan wars with neighboring gangs. So initially, there will be a standoff where they try to intimidate the other meerkats, but if that doesn't work, uh, things will escalate into an all-out brawl, and the meerkats will use their razor-sharp claws and teeth, and they will fight each other. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give it the old thumbs up, subscribe for more adventures, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay curious.